The Israeli army has unveiled a new wheeled armoured personnel carrier and plans to buy thousands of them to upgrade its armoured cores. The new personnel carrier is lightweight, carries a full squad of troops and relies on a combination of sensors and small kinetic interceptors to stop incoming RPGs and missiles. The A-ton eight-wheeled armoured personnel carrier will replace the obsolete M113 armoured personnel carrier in Israeli army service. First introduced in the 1960s, the M113 still soldiers on in plenty of armies, including the US Army. The M113 hasn't been able to keep up with the times though and is considered too lightly armoured for frontline service. The A-ton is heavy by wheeled vehicle standards, tipping the scales at a whopping 35 tonnes. That's three times more than the M113 and the US Marine Corps LAV-25 wheeled scout vehicle. The vehicle will carry 12 infantrymen, which is a lot by the standards of its contemporaries. The US Army's M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle can only carry 6 troopers in the back. Aton will also have an unmanned turret with a 30 or 40mm gun. With all those features, and the armour to protect them, it's surprising the Aton doesn't actually weigh more than it does. Using wheels keeps the weight down, but the new APC will also use the Trophy Active Protection System to intercept coming threats. Trophy uses a system of radar antennas built into a vehicle hull that constantly monitor for incoming rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank missiles. Once a threat has been detected and the speed and course analysed, Trophy fires a pattern of small metal pellets to destroy the incoming projectile. Why is Israel going with wheeled instead of tracks? The debate over tracks versus wheels for armoured vehicles has been raging for decades, with each having its own advantages and disadvantages. Wheeled vehicles being lighter and easier to maintain are usually chosen by expeditionary forces such as the US Marines. Israel doesn't send forces far abroad, but it can appreciate Aton's highway speed of 55 miles an hour, especially since Israel has a well-developed highway network that will allow wheeled APCs to deploy quickly across the small country. Could a heavy wheeled APC like this find its way into the US Army? Probably not. The Army has already the M1126 Striker, which is about half as heavy as the A-Ton, serving in what amounts to light, mechanised infantry. The A-Ton would be a more appropriate replacement for the M2 Bradley, assuming that the A-Ton has about as much protection, active and passive, as the M2 Bradley, there's still the issue that tracked vehicles can traverse difficult terrain that wheeled vehicles can't. Unlike the Israeli Army, which knows the neighbourhood pretty well, the US Army could be called upon to fight in virtually any kind of terrain imaginable and prepare accordingly. Still, the Israelis aren't going totally wheels. The Neymar armoured personnel carrier and infantrymen disgorging behemoth with as much armoured protection as a tank will remain in production.